you're looking for a fun way to take in the fall colors, it may be time to check out all the progress that's been made on West Michigan's Dragon Trail. The trail system has been in the works for years and is right on track for completion. I talked with people pulling it all together and they say the area is already seeing economic benefit. We're going to need a bridge here. We're going to need a bridge here. We're going to need boardwalk through this area. Martin Hall with the West Michigan Mountain Bike Alliance says the Dragon Trail was being planned and talked about since 2015 and construction started in 2019. Getting all parties on board was no small task. It's just, it's, it's so exciting for me because it was all a concept and now it's starting to come together. The trail is a collaboration between Macosta County, Nuego County, Consumers Energy, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and the West Michigan Mountain Bike Alliance. The overall layout includes 11 sections totaling about 50 miles of trail. Just this summer, 10 miles were completed. It includes an ADA section for wheelchair and mobility devices. The consideration for everyone, all people, to enjoy this trail was extensive. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, because it's not just a mountain bike trail. It's a multi-use natural surface trail. So we have hikers and bikers and cross-country skiers and um, we, we have some mushers who want to, who have come out and, and use the trail during the winter with their, their sled dogs. We, we allow everything but motorized vehicles on it. The economic impact for the area is starting to pay off too with more businesses and hotels. They just installed some trail counters um, early summer and it's already seen 20,000 visitors at the various um, trailheads. So and the peak season for the trail is in the fall. At the Fat Belly Deli, the owner says a lot of his customers are visitors to the Dragon Trail, and they keep coming back. Yeah, absolutely. Great feedback. Um, a lot of uh, increased business. The word of mouth is phenomenal. So it's bringing a lot of folks uh, from, from out of town from all around. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been pretty amazing. The feedback on the trail has been outstanding. It's just a cool thing. Trail users I talked with say it's definitely one of the more popular destinations already. Right now you can do a complete circuit if you use paved and gravel roads and the sections that are already done. Mm -hmm. And some of us have been doing that. Uh, but the fun part is this trail and the way it winds in our mouth. All the ravines that go down into the great big reservoir, you know, there's a trail that goes around that and then follows. You're always looking way down the hill. Um, as you travel along. Yeah. It's really fun. The Dragon Trail is set to be completed in 2024, but you can get out and enjoy the fall colors for miles already. For more information, you can go to woodtv.com and check out our story.